Hi, Stargazer. This is Marcy of Earth Sky. The first thing you'll notice in the November evening sky are the brightest stars or planets. In order of brightness, they are Vega, Capella, Saturn, Altair, Aldebaran, Fomala, and Deneb. Here's a star chart of the brighter stars and constellations as they'll appear at about 10 p.m. in early November and at about 8 p.m. by month's end. High overhead, you'll spot the Great Square of Pegasus. It looks like a giant square or a baseball diamond, and Andromeda is off to its side. If you have binoculars, use the star Mu Andromeda to locate the Andromeda galaxy. And above it, you'll spot the W or M-shaped pattern of stars called Cassiopeia. And your Cassiopeia is the constellation Perseus. Facing north, the Big Dipper is low on the horizon, and the two bright stars near the Dipper are Pollux and Castor the twin stars of Gemini. Facing east, we've got some of the winter constellations rising. Auriga is an irregular pentagon shape and contains one of our brightest stars, Capella. On autumn evenings, we look at Capella when it's near the horizon through a thick layer of atmosphere so it can sparkle and flash in multiple colors. Taurus the bull is easily picked out by its bright orange star, Aldebaran. It's part of the V-shaped pattern of stars known as the Hyades, and the delicate Pleiades star cluster is nearby. Finally, the constellation Orion is rising in the east. And as this image shows, you can use the three belt stars of Orion to find our brightest star, Sirius. Facing south, there's the solitary bright star, Fomalot. You might spot golden Saturn between it and the Great Square. Toward the west, we've got some of the few remaining summer constellations, including the three stars of the Summer Triangle, Vega, Deneb, and Altair. As for planets, the first half of November finds Saturn in the southeast and Mercury and Mars might be picked out in the western evening twilight. Then later in the month, you'll spot Jupiter rising after sunset and Saturn in the western sky. Before dawn, look for brilliant Venus sinking lower toward the sun each day and Jupiter high in the sky. If you're under dark skies, the Milky Way stretches overhead from Taurus to Aquila. There are several meteor showers this month. The Taurids are best around November 5th to 9th, and the Leonids peak around November 17th. For morning stargazers, the Big Dipper is almost overhead, with Auriga, Taurus, and Orion in the west. Cepheus and Draco are to the north, and Hercules, Bootes, and Virgo are rising in the east. Please subscribe, like, and share so you won't miss any upcoming night sky events. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do.